All right, hello everyone. Welcome to this video. Um, so I've been doing a couple of hacking videos, teaching you guys how 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 to hack stuff and do some virus codes and stuff. But I noticed that a lot of a lot of people who are doing it are are, are just copy pasting my code and they don't know what the hell's going on. So I feel like I'm do I'm doing you guys a disservice, and it'd be a lot better if I taught you guys how to code first before I teach you how to hack. Once you know how to code and what coding really is then uh, hacking just becomes sec second nature. So, let's get right into it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a series. This is the first video of the series uh, where I'll be teaching a full course on coding in C++. Um, this is like, I'll be teaching like, like, like a full university or college course on, on coding in C++ for absolutely free. Anyway, uh, to begin, you can click on the link in, in the description below. And then you can download Dev C++. That's the that's the um, the edit, the environment that we're going to be working in, Dev C++. So then, what, so then once you go here, click the download link, install it, and everything, you will have Dev C++, and it should look something like this. Um, just keep in mind, guys, I will not be going into uh, w like very in depth of what integers variables really are, because my my good friend uh, has done a video about that. In Java, but it's basically the same thing. Variables in Java and C and C++ are are basically the, the exact same. So if you want a more in depth look into what variables and integers and all that, what what they what all those declarations mean and what they are, I just clicking on uh, on his video, which is going to be on the screen right now. All right. Anyway, once you're in this Dev C++ editor, let, let let's get it. Let's get used to. Uh, let's do a, a simple Hello Word program. So. To do a program in uh, C++, we can click on either File and go to New here, or we can just click on this shortcut, uh, this shortcut button right here. So we click on New, Project, and that's how we start a new project. So now we choose what type of project do we want to make. Do we want to make a Windows application like an EXE? Do, 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 want, do, want, do we want to do something basic in the console or a DLL, so an, so an extension to, to make other applications work and everything? Let's just start with a console application right now. We can name that whatever we want. So this will be a hello world test. This is our first application. We're going to do a C++ project because that's, that's what we're working in. So we just press OK. And then we choose where we want to save it. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop. And there we go. This is the editor. So first of all, um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you guys how to change your environment options. I like this color a lot, like these the this color that I'm using right now a lot because it's very easy for me to see everything. Uh, the original one that is selected is Classic Plus. So originally, when you go into C++, uh, this is what you'll see. So in order in order to change your environment, just go over here to Tools, Editor Options, Colors. And then select the theme. You can choose any theme you want. It doesn't matter. Um, this is just for aesthetics. I personally like the plastic code wrap because I'm still a little kid. And, you know, I'm dumb. Anyway, uh, once you're in here, uh, this is the, the, the base of your code. This is your main function right here. Main. Everything that's in between this and this bracket is, is your actual main program. So everything in, in between this is your actual main program. So let's just quickly start off by making a Hello World program. So in order to write anything using functions in, in uh, C++, you have to go over here outside of your function and declare your, uh, your standard library. So declare that you're going to be using um, things already built into C++ from the standard library. So to do that, you just write using namespace std so using the standard namespace that that's basically what it means and then this will let you do things like print out things uh print out things into the console retrieve information from the user it's it's a very good shortcut if if, if you just include this into your program so anyway once we're here we can we can make our hello word function this will be a very short video because this is just getting used to c++ and all of that so let's just make a very basic hello world thing as you can see, this is we're, we're going to go into our main function here and then just tell the computer, tell C++ to just print out Hello World. So to do that, the way you do print, to print stuff on the screen, if you've done coding in other languages before, it's usually going to be like printf, right? And then just blah, 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 something in there. 
but in C++ it's, it's a little bit different. In C++ it's C out, and then these two uh, less than signs. So they're opening this way. When, when, whenever you're printing something out, so, so trying to print something out into the, into the console, you put the arrows this way. Whenever you're trying to get something in, you do C in. So C out is to print something out into the console. C in is to get something from the user, the user inputs. So the user types something into the console and then you get it into your program. So C in and then the arrows just go the other way. So it's very simple. We'll, we'll be doing a, a, a bit more with that later on in, in the series. But um, you'll, you'll get used to it very quickly. It might look a little confusing at first, but later on, you'll get used to it. So anyway, we're trying to print something out. We're trying to print out Hello World. So see out these two uh, little arrow signs facing, facing towards the see out. So you're trying to print something out into the console. And then, what, and then over here, we do the um, quotation marks. And what do we want to print? What, what, what do we want to say? Well. This is a hello world program, so hello world. That's what we're going to print out into the console. And then, this is not Python. In C++ and Java, you need to do uh, a semicolon after every line. Um, this, this just lets, the, lets C++ know that the line is done. So just like Java and C++, use a semicolon after every line. So this is our program right now. Let's run it. So in, or in order to run it, we first have to compile it. So we can either click on the compile button here and then click on the run button here, or we can just click this button right here, or F11, and, and that'll compile it and then run it, uh, both of those steps in, in one. So what compiling really does is it changes your, uh, your this is the source code. It changes the, the source code into um, machine code so that, the, so that the computer can actually read what we're trying to say. This is what, what people can understand. Computers can't understand this. So it's to change that to machine code, and that, that's what it's doing right now. So uh, we, we we have to save uh, we have to save our application somewhere. So I'm just gonna save it. Hello world, test, and then just save it. And now it should open up, and there it is. Hello world. So that is the hello world program. Uh, just to do something very quickly, if we want to do more uh, more things. Um, if, if we want to print out more things, we, we can either just type it in here as well and, and then close the quotation mark, or if you want to type in more, more than one thing, you can also do another one of those open arrows. And this is just testing printing out into the console and everything. So we, we, we can do another, another one of those errors and, and then write uh, arrows and then write hello world from North America. Easy. So let's just compile and run that, and you'll see a little, a little, a, a little issue here. As you can see, there's no space in between here. So in order to do a, to do a space in between that, we can just add a space over here. So remember, whenever you're trying to print something out, spaces do in fact matter. So just play around with this, have fun, and uh, see what what kind of style you like best. If now let's say that I wanted to have this from North America directly under the hello world, so on a separate line. How would I do that? Well, there's actually a function in, uh, in the standard library of C++. So in the standard library of C++, which is, which is called endl, so E-N-D-L. That basically means end line. So in order to implement that, <clears throat> we have to, first let's just get rid of this so it's easier for you guys to see. So in order to implement that, after so this will be displayed on the first line. Then I want to jump to the next line. So in order to do that, is I do again. See, uh, I, I I do again these two arrows right here, because for C out you always have arrows facing this way. For C in when you're trying to retrieve stuff from for, uh, retrieve information from the user, you you type arrows this way. So we're right here. We do another one of those two arrows. That that just basically means that we're done displaying this, and then after you display this, you want to go to the next line. So to do go to to say the the function go to the next line, you type in end l, and that'll basically skip it to the next line. Uh, and then after that, we're gonna do another message to display. So from North America. So. Now, based on our code, it's going to print out hello world in the top line. It's going to then go end L, so it's going to skip to the next line and then print out from North America right under it. So let's just see if that is indeed the case. And there we go. Hello world from North America. All right. 
This is just playing around with print, uh, print in, in, in the console. If you want to skip a lot of lines, you can add a lot of those NLs. Uh, you know, it's just play around with this. See what what works for you. Get comfortable with with C out, making the arrows go that way. See, and and I added a bunch of end lines, so now it's a, a way way farther down. Just play around with this, and then I'll see you in the next tutorial.